what's up you guys thanks for watching my video thanks for coming to my channel i am nilsa and i want to talk about the first part of my fast the first week i actually did raw veggies fruits smoothies teas with herb and uh water of course spring water this first week i feel like it was more of a transitional week for me because i had already been eating pretty clean lots of fruits and veggies grains and nuts and things like that so with me switching over to just eating raw veggies fruits drinking my smoothies, herbs, and liquids, it wasn't that difficult for me. Here are a couple of examples of the things that I ate and drank throughout this week. I had an apples and greens smoothie, a raspberry and cherry smoothie. Here's a blueberry and peach smoothie. Here's also a banana and peach smoothie. I had a couple of simple salads this week, which consist of kale, green leaf lettuce, avocado, tomato, mushroom, and an olive oil dressing, which I made from scratch. The foods this week was relatively simple and relatively easy for me to do. The hardest part for this week was the physical aspect. A lot of you know, sometimes when you detox or fast or do a cleanse, that you go through withdrawals. Some of those symptoms including feeling very weak or fatigued. For me being fatigued and lacking energy, I really wasn't able to do much when it came to working out this week. There was a couple of times this week where I was able to do small exercises, about 15 and 20 minutes, like some lunges, some squats, uh, planks, a few things like that. But after at that time, my body was like, nope, nope. We ain't got enough energy for all of this also headaches i did get headaches for about three days out of the seven one thing that i can suggest doing if you do end up getting a headache is try drinking some elderberry tea elderberry tea does have positive benefits and one of them includes pain relief a few of the other things that happened to me was um one day i had stomach cramps and i have been constipated this week granted i do deal with have been dealing with um ibs which is irritable bowel syndrome so i don't feel like that's something that may happen to everyone who does a fast but that happened to me so that day i was very uncomfortable i was just in pain i was just not feeling awesome that day this week i also did start taking sea moss and bladderwrack i know that sea moss has most of the minerals that your body needs I believe it's 92 out of 102 minerals that your body needs. I feel like that helped later on in the week with me retaining some more energy because later on in the week, I did start getting a little bit more energy and that's around the time I started taking CMOS. Another thing that I wanted to mention was during this week of fasting, I noticed that I am releasing some mucus it's been dripping down and i've been spitting it out not a lot but i've definitely noticed that that's been happening which is also a good thing but it's pretty disgusting i won't lie it's pretty disgusting another thing that happened to me this week is my face started breaking out and i think that is a positive thing because research shows that when you are cleansing and detoxing when your face breaks out it's a it's your body's way of like pushing all of the bad stuff out so i'm not complaining about that another thing that happened was weight loss now obviously when i'm not eating and i'm not being able to work out the way i have been um i'm not going to keep my weight so i lost a couple pounds it wasn't anything like drastic because i don't have a lot of fat on me to begin with a positive thing that happened physically, even though I was losing some weight, most of the weight was in my stomach area because that was pretty much where more of my fat is at. My lower half is pretty toned, but I was having some issues trying to get rid of a little bit of this pooch that I had and some of my love handles. And during this week, it kind of helped itself. So as you can see, here I was before I started my fast and now here i am on the seventh day of my fast got rid of some of that fat got rid of some of that fat stomach went in how my fasting process is working for me is the first week i did fruits raw veggies smoothies herbal teas and water the second two weeks i plan to do liquids and that will include fruit juices which i make myself herbal teas and water spring water and then the last week will give me uh pretty much just fruits 
along with smoothies and herbal teas and water. This is going to allow my body to readjust to start taking in solid foods again. And that week of fruits, I will stick to mostly watery fruits like watermelon and cantaloupe, apples, things like that. I plan on surviving. That's what I plan on doing. But I really feel like that at the end of this detox that it helped me get rid of a lot of things that's just been sitting in me. You know, my body's just been fighting to keep me alive because I used to eat horribly. And it's just, sometimes you gotta, you know, you gotta clean shit out. Gotta clean it out. Until next time. Yeah. You know what it do. You want no one, I want no one but you, my love.